in order to create a user, we will need to go to identity. And here you have, like I said in the beginning, you have two options. You can either create uh, a federated identity or a local identity. Uh, Oracle is using the least privilege principle, meaning that if you just create a user, that user will not have any permissions or any access to your, to your environment. In order to give access to, to a user, you will need to add that user to a specific group. For example, you're gonna see at the beginning when you create your, uh, your account, you're gonna see the administrators group. Okay, and if you add the, the users to that group, it will take all the permissions that the, that the group had. So the order would be this. You will need to create a group. You will also need to create a compartment. A compartment is uh, a logical construct by definition uh, that you can use in order to segregate uh, between your projects and uh, you know between your projects, your teams, or, or or all that. But easier would be to compare it with uh, let's say Windows folders. They they are the same as a concept as you have you know music, media files, and you store them in different folders. You can do that as well here with your users, with your projects and uh, your teams. By default, you see this root compartment and also the managed compartment for pass, for PAS. This managed compartment for pass, it is for the platform services that we discussed before. Because they reside on a different architecture, you will not be able to put them in compartments. But some of the resources those services may use will need to be stored somewhere, and uh, this is where that will be. After you create the group and the compartment, you will need a policy in order to give access to your compartment for your group. So let's imagine that you create like a development group and also a development compartment where you give access to that group. We will uh, click here on create policy. We have a policy builder, which can help us. We will need the name and description. We have a policy uh, builder, like I said, and you can use something like uh, user management. If you see it here, something that will help you, uh, please use it, it works very well. Then you'll need to select the group. Here will be a development uh, team that you just created as a group and the location will be your newly created uh, dev compartment, right? And this will be the statements for your policy. Uh, later on, if you need, a, let's say like a, like a custom policy, you can click here on customize advanced and you'll, uh, you'll, see, you'll see this example here. If you click on any of the terms here, it will take you to the documentation for that specific, uh, for the specific verb. This is very important as you have a lot of uh, research types that you can use, as you can see here. And when you create, when you create a custom policy, you will need to, to check this documentation as well. So that is how, uh, how you'll be preparing the, uh, the user, the, the access for your, for your user. After the compartment is created, the group and the policy for them in order to bind them, you'll just need to create a user and assign assign that user to the to, to that group. That would be let's say for the for the local identity part. For the federation part, you'll need to click on federation, click on the, the default provider, which is the Oracle Identity Cloud service, and you're gonna need here to to create a user. Okay, username, first name, last name, email, and all that. At the end, you can uh, you can assign. This is optional. You can do it later or at the moment where you create the user. You can assign him to be like a second admin, which I recommend doing this uh, from the beginning. It will be exactly like this. You're gonna assign the user to OC administrators and also the IDCS administrators for the federation part. Okay, and just click on create. It will send uh, an email with the password, the uh, password reset process to, to your user. 